Liz Lee, Activist Lizard. It is now 12 o'clock and time for citizens communication. <laughs> Julian Reeves, Ju Julian Reyes, I'm sorry. Julian Reyes, are you here? Okay. It doesn't matter. Notice we have a couple of members missing. I'll go on without them. Um, let me begin my timer. Thank you, Austin City Council, for listening to the people speak. I'm Julian Reyes, an Austin, Texas resident and voter. My campaign is on Facebook and it's called Support for Shiner. My dog, Shiner Bach, was shot and left to die by Austin police on April of this year, just days before Eeyore's birthday party. I watched my loving family member get gunned down multiple, multiple bullets as he ran away from the police and cried loudly for his life. I was forced by police, uh, multiple officers with guns drawn, forced to the ground, cuffed and treated like a second class citizen. Even more egregious is how police officers and supervisors kept me handcuffed on the concrete to watch Shiner Bach, my best friend in the whole world, bleed to death before me, denied the right to render aid. Sorry. I miss him immensely. I cry every day. Love, honor, and duty drives me because my little buddy took a bullet on the night of great peril to save his best friend. Now the people of Austin are aware of Shiner's story and are outraged, expecting me to speak for up for all dogs' rights. I would like to make myself available to assist in this process. Time is urgent on this issue for all dogs' rights. Chinderbach did not have to die. Poor training, policy viola violations, and non-accountability by APD killed Shiner. From multiple dog shootings, it's clear that APD have a pattern of encountering dogs and escalating ordinary interactions and violent, violent, usually fatal endings. Many times this escalation was unwarranted and many times there is also no crime reported or actually in progress. This worries me deeply. It should worry you because it could be anyone of, of the citizens or any one of you or your children or your dog that's gunned down. So we have to ch make change. I recommend training for the, uh, for the officers. Uh, the APD has recently audited the training in Leander, the Osario eight-hour uh, dog, uh, dog non-lethal encounter training, behavioral training, specifically for officers by an ex-police ex officer. Um, several cities are using this. The city of Fort Worth, since implementing this, has had zero dogs killed since they implemented this. We've had many dogs killed since we implemented our, implemented our Cisco policy, and it's a complete and utter failure. It's proven by the numbers of dogs killed since the policy went in that have yet to be determined because there's no accountability or, or a transparency with APD. Um, we must inject respect for life back into Austin's police department. The best, most cost-effective solution is the quality um, dog training for the police department. Um, it will save them money and pay, paid time off, lawsuits, and other expenses that the city has to, has to deal with in, in addition to their $3 million budget that they want to expand their force when we don't really call them and we don't really need them to, to um, shoot our dogs. Um, last week, oh, let's see, I'm sorry. Um, city Council, it's your duty to see that the Austin Police Department moves quickly on this issue, is held accountable and trained properly to protect and serve the people of Austin. Don't let another dog die senselessly on your watch. Now we will expect the City Council and APD to answer in person to each future victim, families, or children who are shell-shocked by this police violence like I am. I am shell-shocked. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. Your time is up. Thank right, you. Thank you. Mona Gonzalez. Liz Lee, Activist Lizard. Namaste, y'all. Be safe.